Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to update your Google Nexus 7 from Android 4.1.1 to Android 4.1.2 manually. Uh, now, my device is fully stock. Um, this It does have stock recovery. It kind of matters if you have a custom recovery or stock recovery. If you have a custom recovery, but you are uh, still on completely stock rooted 4.1.1, um, you can go ahead and do a quick simple step and you can have it installed but if you're just stock it's actually a little bit complicated so uh, if you are rooted and have clockwork mod recovery everyone's going to need to download the zip file that I link to in the description of the video so go ahead and link to uh, go ahead and click on that file and download it onto your device if you're rooted transfer that zip file onto your storage of your phone but if you are on stock and have stock recovery then you can just go ahead and leave it on your computer because we're going to do it uh, kind of through your computer and through ADB commands. Uh, but if you have a custom recovery, transfer it over to your device and then just go ahead and go to install zip from SD card and select that update and it should update you to 4.1.2. So that's it if you have a custom recovery. Now let's go ahead and get into it if you have stock recovery. First of all, I want to show you guys, go, go to settings, about tablet. I am on 4.1.1 build number, JR, what is it, 003D. Um, that would be the latest 4.1.1 build. But now uh, go ahead and as I said, download that zip file and you can just leave it in your downloads folder or wherever that download does go to. But then you're also gonna need to install the Android SDK on your PC. So to do so, I have a video showing you how to do that. So now go ahead and watch that video on how to set, set up the Android SDK tools on your PC. Uh, while you watch that video, make sure you do rename uh, follow each step carefully and rename that folder that you have on your that you do download when you're watching the Android SDK to just SDK Windows as opposed to SDK Windows Tools or whatever it is. I can't remember exactly, but just make sure you follow each step carefully. Set up the Android SDK on your PC, then go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this video. All right, and now once you have those SDK tools set up on your computer, you can go ahead and go to settings on your tablet. Then go ahead and scroll down, go to developer options, turn them on in the upper right hand corner, hit OK, and then check USB debugging and hit OK. So make sure USB debugging is checked there. Once it is checked, you can go ahead and plug in your device into your computer. So go ahead and plug your tablet into your laptop or whatever computer you set up the SDK tools on. So plug that on in. All right, once you plug it in, you'll see autoplay pop up. You can just exit out of it. Now press the start button and just type CMD and hit enter. And then what that's gonna do is open up a command prompt. Now what we wanna do with this command prompt is double check and make sure the PC recognizes our device. So what you can do is type ADB devices, type that in, and then you'll see list of devices attached, letting us know that that is there. Again, you do need to make sure you have the SDK tool set up properly. So uh, again, follow that video that I have. But once it shows which uh, devices are attached, what you can go ahead and do is just type ADB reboot recovery. So go ahead and type that command in right there, hit enter. And then what's gonna happen is your Nexus 7 is going to automatically uh, reboot into our stock recovery. So it will go ahead and take us to this screen right here. Once we go to this screen, go ahead and press and hold volume up and power at the same time, I believe, and then yes. So that is what we have to do. So go ahead and press and hold volume up, power at the same time. Once done there, let's take a look at the stock recovery here. Now go ahead and press volume down button once until it says apply update from ADB, and then press the power button to select it. And then it's gonna go ahead and say, now send the package you want to apply to the device with ADB sideload file name. So now we are ready to go back to our computer and get everything set up. All right, so now once it says uh, type in ADB sideload, you can just exit out of this and you will see, go to the, your downloads folder where you, where you downloaded that zip file I mentioned earlier that you needed to download. Go ahead and click on it and hit copy. Uh, so go ahead and copy the file name. Don't rename it, just copy that file name and now uh, inside your downloads folder, go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard, right click, and then hit open command window here. So I, that didn't come up. There we go, open command window here. You gotta hold shift, right click, and then hit open command window, and then it's gonna go ahead and open up this command prompt right here. So now what you're gonna wanna do is type ADB space sideload space, and then go ahead and right click on the top of the command prompt, go over to edit, and hit paste. It'll paste that file name that we copied, then add .zip on the end, and once you add .zip on the end, hit enter, and then you'll see sending sideload. It's uh, updating right there. I'm not sure exactly what our Nexus 7 is gonna do, but it will run through and then go ahead and add 100%. 
So now it is finishing up. It's at 100%. It says verifying update package. Basically sent it over to the device, and then now your Nexus 7 shows that it is installing the update. So it's going to go ahead and install the uh, 4.1.2 update on your device. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take. It shouldn't take too long. File size wasn't that large. All right, so it ran through the update, said install from ADB complete. It did take a little while, so it took a few minutes, so just kind of be patient. Now once uh, it's done, up at the top, it says reboot system now, press the power button, and then it will go ahead and reboot our Nexus 7 tablet, and once it boots up, we will be running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean on our device. So I'm gonna let it boot up, and I will show you guys that. All right, now our device has booted back up. You don't need it plugged in anymore, so you can unplug it if you'd like to, but we can go ahead and go back into settings. No data does get wiped when you follow this process. Go to About Tablet. All right, and under About Tablet, you will see Android version 4.1.2. Sorry about the switch of cameras. My uh, DSLR battery did die, and I don't have the charger, so I switched over to my Evo LTE to finish this video. But you'll see Android version 4.1.2. You can quickly tap on it. And there you go, Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean down at the bottom. Press and hold on the guy, and you got Jelly Beans. Everyone knows about that little uh, Easter egg there. But otherwise, build number JZ054K. And otherwise, the update is pretty much the main thing that has been updated is the home launcher does have rotation, and you can rotate the device in any direction, even upside down. If I can, sorry, I'm holding... A phone in one hand and a tablet in another you'll see it is upside down you can go in any direction and there you have it and it does rotate and otherwise 4.1.2 does have some security fixes and nothing major other than that home screen rotation but that's it so uh let me know what you think be sure to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask just leave a comment be sure to subscribe as well follow me on facebook twitter google plus all links will be in the description of the video below as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up